Hey guys, it's me, JSHDO. I welcome back to my channel. You don't need any glue or borax to make any of these slimes, and these recipes are some of the easiest no glue slimes, so make sure to watch the video till the very end so you can figure out how to make slime out of your old school supplies. As you guys know, in every single video I post, I give notification squad shoutouts to my notification squad, so today's notification squad shoutouts go to Tyler Lee. X Angel X, Moonlight Rose is cute, and Ainsley Braun. If you would like to get featured in my next video just like these people, all you have to do is give this video a like, turn on the notification bell, and you will be a part of the notification squad. The next slime recipe is what you guys probably saw in the thumbnail, and that is because this slime recipe works. So let me show you guys how you can make slime out of a crayon. The thing you need to do is peel the crayon and then break it into two pieces or however many you want so that it will melt easier in the microwave. The crayon is completely melted. This process might take a while. You want to put some cooking oil in it and then start mixing it up. You guys will instantly see that the crayon is starting to activate, but you need to mix very quickly because you don't want the crayon to cool down right away or else you won't end up with a slime. Mix as fast as you can before the slime starts drying up, and if it feels kind of stiff, just add a little bit more of the cooking oil. You guys can see you are left with a small but very fun to play with slime once you do this process, and it is super fun to make. The recipe I'm going to be testing out is highlighter hand sanitizer slime. Saw this in a YouTube video, so we are going to try it now. In all the video tutorials I've watched of people making this slime, they just take the ink out of the pen by squeezing it, but this is just not working for some reason. I'm really having no luck with this ink cartridge method because in all the videos I saw, they basically just squeezed the ink cartridge and all this ink came out of it. But what I'm going to do instead, because that's not working for me, is put the hand sanitizer in the container first and then mix it with the ink cartridge and hopefully some of the ink will come out and mix into the hand sanitizer. Oh, it's working. You guys can see I'm mixing it with the end of the marker and you can see it's starting to change colors. Well, it kind of looks like it changes colors from like this orange color to this pink color. It is so bright. I've never seen a clear slime this bright. I'm going to refrigerate it for an hour and we will see how it turned out. As you guys can see when I mix it, the slime is starting to pull away from the container, which is a great sign that the slime is starting to work. But now I'm going to take the slime out of the container so we can see how the texture actually is. It's really cold right now because it was in the refrigerator for an hour, but you guys can see that it is kind of turned into this holdable slime. Although it's super sticky, it definitely worked. This recipe I'm going to be sharing with you guys is how to make slime out of erasers. To make this slime, you are going to be needing, of course, erasers, and I'm just going to be using the erasers on my pencils. This slime, you need to collect a bunch of eraser shreds, so what I'm going to be doing is just erasing on this cardboard box. I'm using a cardboard box is because the cardboard box is more sturdy than a piece of paper, so it is a lot easier to erase on it. Have a good amount of eraser shreds, you just want to put them in a container. The ingredient you're going to be needing is a shampoo that contains gold glue side. Basically, what we're going to be doing is microwaving it with the shampoo, and the latex inside of the eraser should it turn this into slime. Shampoos actually contain deco glue side, so just check the ingredients list on your shampoo before using it. And then I'm just going to add in a bit of food coloring to make it colored. This is optional, but you can add some white paint to make it a solid color, or you could just keep it clear. And now I'm just going to mix everything up until it is all well combined. Everything is well mixed, you want to microwave it for 10 minutes at 30 second intervals. The raving process is a bit lengthy, but once you've microwaved your slime, it should end up like this. The texture is different than normal glue slime, but not in a bad way. It is super stretchy and makes great bubble pops. I will insert one right here. The right ingredients at home, you should definitely try out this recipe and leave a comment down below how it turned out for you. This week, I discovered a super cool recipe that one of you guys left in my comment section of one of my videos on how to make slime out of scotch tape, so I'm going to be sharing it with you guys First, right take now. a couple pieces of tape and put them in a container with some cold water and let that soak for 10 minutes until all the sticky part of the tape has dissolved into the water. Next, you're going to be needing a hand soap. I heard in the comment that soft soap works best, so that is what I'm going to be using. Just add a bunch of hand soap until you have a 1 to 4 ratio of hand soap to water. The next ingredient you're going to be needing is our activator, and that is cream of tartar. Ever activated slime with cream of tartar before? Basically, what you do is take a couple pinches of the cream of tartar, add in whatever add-ins you want to use, so food coloring, glitter, whatever, and then you want to mix it up super well, and then let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. And now I'm just going to let this set so the cream of tartar can activate it. It's been one hour since I made this, so I'm just going to mix it up to see how it is. 
Oh, okay, so as you guys can see, it is getting very stringy and starting to activate. The recipe is said to put some aloe onto your hands before playing with the slime because it will make it a lot less sticky and make it easier to play with. I did way too much, so I'm just going to wipe off some of the aloe, but we're going to be testing out this trick to see if it actually will make the soap slime less sticky. Okay, let's feel the slime. It's definitely sticky, but I don't know if the cream of tartar is fully mixed in, so I'm just going to mix it in a bit before I fully judge the slime. Now that I have mixed it up and given it some more air bubbles, you guys can see it is a lot less sticky. I'm not quite sure how the aloe actually helped it, but I would say this recipe was very successful. I'm just going to let this slime clear up to see how it looks after one day of sitting. Hey guys, it is the day after I filmed the clips where I made the first tape slime. I only waited a day to see how it has cleared up because I want to get this video posted for you guys as soon as we can, but let's see. Okay, I will not say it is fully clear, but let's see how the texture is now. It's not too sticky for being a no glue slime, but let's play with it. It's definitely melted down a bit since yesterday, but it is still pretty slime-like. Let's do some poking. I'm not gonna lie, I am a bit disappointed because it did melt a lot and I was thinking it was going to be clear today. Let me know in the comments how I could fix this slime. This recipe is a recipe that I've never tested before. So you and I are going to be testing it together to see what I happens. I found this recipe on the YouTube channel called Troom Troom and basically all they did in the video was take a pencil, scribbled on a notebook, and then put toothpaste on the pencil scribbles. And then they let the toothpaste dry on the notebook for a while and it turned into slime. Okay guys, I followed all these steps from the Troom Troom video, so now all I've left to do is let the toothpaste dry out for 10 minutes. It has been 10 minutes, so now it's time for the moment of truth. I did not have super high hopes for this recipe, but as you guys can tell, the toothpaste is exactly the same texture as before and nothing happened. So ultimately this toothpaste notebook slime was a fail. The next recipe I'm going to be testing out is glue stick slime. I know what you guys are thinking right now, this is not a no glue slime. This recipe would be interesting to try out because you really never see people make slime out of glue sticks. Step to this recipe was just cutting up some glue sticks. So I took three at a time and I would just chop off the glue stick part of the glue stick and I put it in a microwave safe bowl. Okay guys, I'm just taking it out of the microwave. It has been in there for 30 seconds and it looks slightly clear, but I'm gonna microwave it for 30 more seconds so it can be completely melted and then we will try to turn it Okay into guys, slime. I just took it out of the microwave and as you- I cannot speak, oh my gosh. Anyways, I just took it out of the microwave and as you can see, it is completely melted, so I'm just going to add the water and we're going to mix it all up. adding in a drop of food coloring to make it a little more fun then i'm gonna microwave it for 10 more seconds so that everything will be completely like mixed together our slime is out of the microwave and it is ready to be activated he says that it will turn into slime once we add dry shampoo so i just have this one here that i picked up from target i'm really not sure how much dry shampoo to add in but i'm just adding in a spray at a time and then mixing it all together added in a ton of dry shampoo and i think it might be finally activating you guys can see I just took the slime out of the bowl and I realized that it is so sticky so this recipe was unfortunately a fail. One of you guys left a comment on my old school supplies video that I posted about a year ago, a super cool recipe to make slime out of watercolors, so let's test it out right now. Personally, I did not have watercolors as part of my school supplies, but I did use them in art, so I think this counts. So many colors. Okay. It says to use a lid as the container for this, so I'm just using this slime container lid. They say to use the sharp part of the scissors to, to chip out the watercolor from the container. So let's see if we can do this. I would definitely not say this is the safest, but I'm gonna just start pouring it onto the lid like it says. It says it's supposed to just chip out of the container, but for some reason this Crayola one is really heavy duty and is not coming out, so I'm just trying to crush it in here. Oh, there we go. You pour the rest of that into the lid. This is what it looks like. The last step is just to take some hair gel and put a little tiny bit into there. So I'm just using this hair gel that I have. I'm 
left over from one of my old videos where I did a bunch of hair gel slimes. And then it says to just slowly mix it. So I'm going to be using this plastic fork. Or that's not a fork. What am I saying? Wait. Oh my gosh. It's actually doing something. I guess it's just melting. But I was not expecting this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep doing this. There's some chunks that are not quite melting, but I'm just going to keep mixing it because it says mix till it is completely dissolved. I can't get those last couple chunks, but I guess we're going to just move on to the final step. It's dry for five minutes, so I'm just going to put it here and hopefully this will dry out and give us a nice putty as it says it will. So I can't actually really tell if it's dried, so I'm just going to use this in case it's really messy because I don't want it to stain my hands, but let's see. Ready? Okay. I guess I'll just go in with my hands. You guys can see it's about the texture and consistency of liquid paint. So somewhere along the line of this recipe, I messed up. I don't know what I did wrong, but... If you're watching this and you commented this recipe, leave a comment on how I can fix this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching this video. I had a great time filming it and making all these cool slimes with you guys. If you are not already subscribed and would like to subscribe, you should definitely do so by clicking that red button below. And then if you want to learn a little bit more about me, you can go follow me on Instagram at JSHDIY. I have one of the most exciting videos I've ever posted on my channel before that will be coming to you guys pretty soon, so I will put a little sneak peek of that video up on the screen for you guys. It worked really well. Um... <laughs> that video will be coming within the next week, which is so exciting. I can't wait for you guys to see that video. I will be posting videos all week long, so get excited for those. But until then, please go hang out with me on the videos up on the screen. Just click on one, and I will see you guys over there. Bye, guys.